New York, if you're waking up now, the time 623, and we've got Weather Authority meteorologist Myla Skyber here to tell us what we can expect for this afternoon and this weekend, I guess, is going to warm up a little. Yeah, we could see Crossing warm up, fingers. but we have to deal with some winter <laughs> mm. weather before we get that warm up this weekend. So talking about our next weather makers, we do have a system that arrives tonight with some widespread snow. Today looks generally quiet. It's not until after sunset that we'll get this widespread snow and it will be on the lighter side, not expecting much of a travel concern with only a few inches out of this system. Then as we look ahead to this weekend, any of that snow we get tonight is looking to melt with a big warm up looking ahead to Sunday and some soggy weather as well. We're going to be dealing with a rainy weekend with that warmer air working its way in and rain showers continuing late Saturday into Sunday, even on Monday as well. So let's start with this morning. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. Some scattered flurries across the region, not seeing much accumulation on the ground for most places. It's just the Tug Hill region in northern Oswego County where you might be waking up to a coating to an inch of snow. That's where you need the snow brush heading outside this morning. Those flurries are expected to taper off as we head through today with a generally quiet day ahead. It's not until after sunset around 6 or 7 p.m. that we'll get the system working its way in from the west that will bring us some widespread light snow for tonight. So let's time this out for you. Starting this morning with temperatures in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees and those scattered flurries, but eventually those taper off within the next few hours and push further towards the shoreline of Lake Ontario, which is where they'll stay for today with dry weather for everyone else. Highs will reach the upper 30s this afternoon with maybe some peaks of sunshine under mostly cloudy skies. Then after 5 p.m., about 6 or 7 p.m., that's when that widespread snow works its way in, continues for tonight as we drop down into the upper teens by tomorrow morning and that's when that widespread snow tapers off with just some lingering lake effect flurries on and off through the day on Thursday. And with that cooler air working its way in behind that weather system, highs will only reach about 20 degrees through the day on Thursday. How much snowfall we can expect out of this system? A general one to three inches for most places. It's just the hilly areas to the south of Syracuse along Route 20 towards Auburn, Casanova and Cortland area that where we could see a localized three, four, five inches of snow. Same goes for the Tug Hill region in northern Oswego County, Jefferson and Lewis counties where we could see again localized higher amounts more than three inches. So again, a generally quiet day today. Snow arrives late this evening into tonight and then just a few lingering flurries on Thursday with chilly temperatures, a high only near 21, partly sunny and dry on Friday. Our next weather maker arrives this weekend Saturday in the afternoon with a wintry mix, a high of 36 degrees and then continuing to warm up overnight into Sunday with some scattered rain showers and highs in the 50s, even looking to stay mild for the start of next week. Abby.